to whoever reads this. This evening, I think I might die. By the time you are reading this, I'll probably be dead. I think this is a clue, a thin band of light stretching through the darkness of our lives. I used to be involved in some less than savoury transactions. You must remember, this was during the height of war. You understand thousands were dying. Rationing was in force. Not that it subsided since. It was easy money, you see? I worked at the time at the Ministry of Food. Nothing too important, you understand. Just administrative duties. Signing ration books. In or out. That kind of thing. But it did give me access to unmarked ration books. Which I, uh, became involved in, uh, liberating. I didn't do it alone, of course. It was myself and Shirley, a secretary from down the hall. We would sneak out of the building each night with a case or two of unmarked ration books. This all went swimmingly, till one night, a security guard suddenly emerged from the shadows, as if he knew what we were doing. He kept asking to see what was in the suitcase. What's in the suitcase? Nothing. Nothing. I insist, sir. I think I better see. Nothing but a change of clothes. I'm going on business, you see. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist, sir, on seeing the contents of that suitcase. He wouldn't stop. I just froze. But surely, as if from nowhere, brought out a gun. <laughs> and just shot him. I was stunned. I never even knew she owned a gun. Not that they were hard to get a hold of in those days. Calmly, Shirley just stepped over the body and continued walking. We could have been forgiven for thinking it wasn't the first time she'd fired a gun. Naturally, I followed her. What else was I to do? The morning after, there was an inquest, but it never came to anything. Across the channel and in the town each night, thousands were dying at the hands of the Jerry's. Who was going to miss a single lone guard? We never spoke about it. Soon after, she left. Transferred. Ministry of Information, I think. So you're probably wondering where I'd die in this. Well, I think I always knew I wouldn't get away with it. So I told them. The police, I mean. Not that I knew who killed the guard. Just that I was involved in the illegal trade of ration books. But surely won't care. I pose a risk to her. To her great crime. And so she'll kill me. Women like her always know. No doubt she's already on her way over here. Loading her gun. Sincerely. John Jones. Hello, Shirley. I knew you'd come. How are you these days? Not bad. All the better for seeing you. 